I remember finding out I was pregnant and how excited I was. And it's been two years now since I lost my baby. His birthday was July 12th. And he moved a lot. I knew he was going to be active, some type of athlete. He was going to be my true love. After a healthy pregnancy, it was April 12, 2016. Hey, Langston. Their celebration quickly turned to concern, though, when Charles noticed blood in Kira's catheter. He alerted doctors, but says minutes turned into hours. I'm begging, I'm pleading for them to do something. Finally, he says after 10 hours, doctors decided Kira needed surgery, but it was too late. Kira hemorrhaged to death. She was 39. I first started noticing problems in my second trimester. I felt a lot of pain, but I was ignoring it and pushing it to the side because I was pregnant and I knew it wasn't supposed to be all that comfortable all the time. I was seeing my doctor, but there was times I had to miss appointments because I had multiple jobs. My boyfriend was shot and killed during a liquor store robbery. Um, and I wasn't even able to tell him I was having the baby. My pains were becoming unbearable. I was told that he was just kicking or moving around a lot. When I would have my checkups, it was always a different doctor. Um, and I would have to update each new doctor I was seeing because they weren't actively talking to each other and communicating what was going on with me. Um, it helped when I had a baby shower. It was so beautiful. My mom and some of my friends all came together to put it on and I was surrounded by a lot of love family and friends. I remember waking out of my sleep to the most painful contractions. We were walking to the car to go to the hospital. I started to bleed and my mom noticed it showing through my pants. Actually, there is something else going on that has to do with being a black woman in America. Talk about what it is. It is race and racism. So it's just the lived experience of what happens to black women in the country has a physiological effect. Is the way black women are treated in the healthcare system. And I, I say black women, but I mean black people. Other little things that my doctors never mentioned, they never pointed out, and they never took concern to the pain that I was mentioning to them. I went through the worst postpartum with no baby. I was sitting in his room just crying for days, not eating, and there was nothing, there was nothing there, no life. His name was going to be Xavier. He died July 13, 2018. My doctors didn't thoroughly care for me and my baby. And that's why I don't have a child. We're in the midst of a, of a national public health crisis. Moms in America are more likely to die during or shortly after childbirth compared to mothers in any other developed country. Black mothers in the U.S. die at three to four times the rate of white mothers. Black women in the United States suffer from life-threatening pregnancy complications twice as often as white women. Structural racism and gender oppression, social determinants of health inequities experienced by black women in America significantly contribute to the high rates of maternal mortality and morbidity among black women.